I'm Brady Held, the founder and CEO of Courtroom Animation. In this video, I'll be talking about a defense case in which we recreated a two-car collision where one of the major determining factors was a sandstorm that severely limited driver visibility. Now, our task as forensic animators is to visualize data, and oftentimes expert data. What was really challenging about this case was that there were four key experts for the defense. We worked alongside an accident reconstructionist, a forensic meteorologist, an environmental scientist, and a human factors expert. Each of these experts told a very key part of the story. Now our job was to take all of those parts and combine them into an exhibit that any juror could understand. Now, the average juror doesn't really speak the same language as an accident reconstructionist or a forensic meteorologist. So our job is to take those data points and turn them into a video that is memorable. This case took place in one of the desert communities of Southern California. Two vehicles are traveling towards each other in opposite directions. In the middle of these vehicles is a very violent sandstorm that brings visibility down to almost zero. Now, while sand is blowing in the entire area, there's one particular section of this bridge where sand makes its way over the wind wall and into the driver's path. The plaintiff enters the bridge and proceeds towards the blowing sand at a high rate of speed. Upon entering the sand, he loses both visibility and control of his vehicle. Several seconds later, he crashes head-on into another vehicle and several fatalities occur. We were retained by defense counsel for the municipality, who was being sued for liability in regards to sand on the roadway surface. One of the key arguments of the defense that we were tasked with visualizing was that the plaintiff was traveling at a high rate of speed toward a hazard that he should have seen and anticipated. Now we were tasked with showing what that driver had the ability to see from several hundred feet away and had ample time to take any other action besides the one that he took. Now again, as forensic animators, our job is to visualize data. And there was quite a bit of data in this case that we visualized. So from the accident reconstructionist, we received LIDAR or laser scan data. That allowed us to create a highly accurate 3D environment. Also from the accident reconstructionist, we received motion data of the vehicles that allowed us to animate the event consistently with the findings of the accident reconstructionist. The forensic meteorologist provided us with data around lighting conditions, as well as haze created by the sand that was present in the air and could have been seen from miles away. The environmental scientist provided us with details about the sand and how it was blowing onto the roadway. Specifically, he provided us with the density of the sand, the height that it was blowing over the roadway, the speed at which it was traveling, both generally and in plumes that were moving faster, and the general look of the sand and how it would appear to a driver. We were provided with one exemplar video of a similar sandstorm in a nearby area. And from this, we were able to get a general look and feel of what it would be like to be inside one of these sandstorms. And the human factors expert provided us with data about driver's points of view, conspicuity, signage that was available to be seen, and data that spoke to how if the plaintiff was traveling at a lower rate of speed, how that would have affected the entire event. Now the real crux of our job was taking all of those data sets from those four highly accomplished experts and making sure all the data pieces fit together and were able to tell a seamless story. The most difficult part of this task was visualizing the actual sandstorm. We simulated the event showing millions of sand particles blowing at accurate speeds and gusting at different speeds that coincided with the environmental scientist's report. This process involved a tremendous amount of back and forth between courtroom animations team and the expert witness. We had to ensure that the simulation matched the speed, the density, the particular turbulence of the sand, and the expert had to sign off on all of these factors. Now, once all of these data sets is put into the forensic animation, we have the amazing ability to view the event from any perspective. That includes the plaintiff driver's perspective. What became very clear from this point 
is that the plaintiff would have had the ability to see the sandstorm from very far away and would have had ample time to take any other action besides the one that he did take. We created alternative scenarios of the event where the driver was traveling at a lower rate of speed. When you see these videos one after the other, it is easy to see that the driver should have made a different choice and is responsible for a portion of the liability. This is one of the key arguments that our defense counsel was hoping to get in visualizing all these data sets. We created other exhibits as well, showing the event from a top-down or planned view, side by side with the driver's view. These types of exhibits help orient the viewer, so they have a better understanding of distances that objects are away from each other, timing, and are able to tie the entire event to the actions that were taken by the plaintiff by seeing that event at the same time from his perspective. We produced another exhibit where we highlighted some of the signs that pointed out the exact condition that occurred at the time of the collision. This exhibit helped emphasize the point that the driver was taking reckless action. Without this forensic animation, all of these experts' opinions and data would have existed by themselves in a vacuum. The visualization ties all of these pieces together and creates a memorable and accurate exhibit for the jury to really understand the events and make the best decision. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to like the video and subscribe to this channel.